So the big question, what about foundation? How do I wear it? What do I wear? Can I wear boomstick with it, under it, over it? What? <laughs> so foundation was designed to even out the skin tone and have more light be reflected from the face. Foundations usually come in a cream form, oil base or water base. They can also come in a powder form. So if you've heard me talk about skin texture, you'll know that powder foundation is a big no-no if you have any natural texture. And what I mean by natural texture is wrinkles, crow's feet, right? So when you put powder, when you put texture on top of texture, you just create more texture. <laughs> so even though we're celebrating our age here and wearing our wrinkles and crow's feet with pride, we don't necessarily want to add a bunch of cakiness to them. So if you're going to choose a foundation, choose a moisturizing, creamy, luxurious foundation that matches your skin tone exactly, right? And the way you do that is you put it on your face. And if you don't see it, then it matches. So the order in which you put on your moisturizer, your foundation, and your three boomsticks is you start with your moisturizer. Your moisturizer protects your face. It moisturizes and it gets your skin ready for these other products. So put on your boom silk, your boom cotton, or your boomstick glow. Those are all pure, delicious, wonderful moisturizers. So once you've got that on your face and you've allowed it to soak in a little bit, and you choose to wear a foundation, which you know I don't necessarily recommend, but hey, it's your face and you gotta do what you wanna do. So you choose a good moisturizing foundation that matches your skin tone. You place that wherever you want it. And then you put on your boomstick color and your boomstick glimmer in that order. Another kind of basic rule of thumb with makeup is you can put powder over creams, but you can never put creams over powders. So cream over cream, powder over cream, but never creams over powder. And you can use boomsticks with or without foundation. Your choice. Okay, so I am explaining this whole thing about what goes over a foundation and when you put it on because you've asked. And I really want to support you in getting what you want. We do not make a foundation, we do not offer a foundation, and I don't necessarily recommend wearing foundations because it's about putting on a mask and it suffocates the skin. And you have to make sure you clean it all off because it's not really good for your skin. It's about creating something that really isn't honest and realistic. At some point, the world is gonna see you without it. You're gonna take a shower, you're gonna swim at the beach, you're gonna go into the swimming pool. And I think it's really much more fun and positive and pleasurable to get in agreement with the way your skin is now. And a really interesting point about that is you notice it, right? I look in the mirror and I see all these things that nobody else sees because they've got all their attention on how they look. <laughs> so you're actually safe to just Make your skin healthy, get happy, have a good time, and that's what people are gonna notice. And you know, like right now I'm wearing a foundation because I'm in front of the camera and I'll get used to myself like that and then when I wash my face, all of a sudden I see that those freckles and the uneven skin tone and this and that and the other thing and it looks kind of raw. And this is like smooth and velvety and even and everything. And it kind of reminds me, well, I guess I never really had skin that nice, but you know, when you're young and you don't have any wrinkles and you haven't gotten the scars and the life and the sunshine, you know, really affecting your skin, it has that smooth overall, even flawlessness. And that's definitely a kind of beautiful that we all had a chance of having, but now we're past that time and we have a new kind of beautiful. 
And instead of masking it and trying to look like I looked when I was 25 or 35, I would rather reveal what I look like now and enjoy it and, and have my skin look as alive and healthy and vibrant and glowing as possible rather than trying to make it look something other than what it really is. So that's why I don't wear foundation. But if it's something that you want to do, I am not here to convince you not to do it. I always say the bottom line is honor yourself and do what feels good to you. And when you do that, no matter what you choose, you will be attractive because you'll be walking through the world a happy woman.